All right, so continuing on with uh, the subject of the flourishing spiritual life and how to actualize it, um, I'd like to talk about those defining characteristics, the three defining characteristics of uh, spirituality, and see if I can compare <clears throat> and contrast those with, um, with religion. Um, we have discuss there some of the basic differences between religion and spirituality, but now I'd like to talk about the three defining characteristics of those. The first one is that spirituality is inclusive. It includes everybody. It includes rich people and poor people, up-and-comers and down-and-outers. It includes uh, Australians and Africans and Americans and Amazonians and Asians, everybody's included in spirituality. All of us have the Spirit of God within us. That is something that, that is important here. Now, as far as religion is concerned, it's a little more exclusive. You know, you may find that uh, some religion may not welcome you because you are not a part of their religion, because it is exclusive. As I pointed out earlier on, I know about uh, a YouTuber that got that was denied access into a mosque because he was a Jew. Now, it is not all mosques that will deny you access. Not all mosques will deny you access because even though I'm a Christian, I have been to certain mosques in, in Turkey and nobody denied me access. So, and, and some Christians may deny you access to their churches. Some Hindus or Buddhists may deny you access to their places of worship. And the reason for that is because religion tends to be more exclusive, right? It doesn't include everybody. It includes only those who subscribe to their religion or who belong to that community, religious community. So the first thing about spirituality is that it is inclusive. If you compare it to religion, you find that religion is a little bit more exclusive. And then the second thing about spirituality is that it is expansive. It expands, you know. If you actualize higher spiritual life, then you automatically, some of the accompanying consequences or some of the benefits to that is that you're going to have an expansive consciousness and increase higher level of consciousness you're going to have increased higher level of access, spiritual access to the holy. And that's what mystics talk about, that they have immediate and even automatic access to God. Well, they can have that because of their level of consciousness, their level of awareness, right? This happens when you attain a higher spiritual life. Then you have that kind of experiences that the mystics talk about. So spirituality, some of the effects of spirituality is that it endows you with uh, expansive spiritual insights and expansive spiritual intuition. And these things are real. Conventional religion as such does not endow you with these things. A conventional religion tends to be more tribal and more parochial, you see. So... So the, the mentality of the religious person is not exactly the same as the spiritual person. The spiritual person is inclusive, they are expansive, whereas the religious person tends to be more exclusive and a little bit more tribal, a little bit more parochial. A spiritual person talks about what they call the cosmic consciousness. What is the cosmic consciousness? Well, it's the idea that all of life is related. You have a consciousness that is beyond the egoic consciousness, the self-consciousness, right? So the cosmic consciousness allows you to see all humanity, all people, actually all sentient beings as part of yourself. Well, religious people don't see that. They actually see people, they, they think in terms of us and them. Right, so if you're not part of us, then you're part of them, and so that's kind of how religion thinks. So the third uh, uh, characteristics of spirituality is that it is transformative, right? So we've talked about the fact that uh, spirituality is inclusive. We talked about the fact that it is expansive, and the third point is that it is transformative. And when you talk about transformation, you're talking about change. Spirituality changes you. 
the more or the higher level of spiritual attainment that you accomplish, well, the more you change. Your life is changed. Everything about you, you is changed. Your mindset is changed. Your attitude is changed. Even your facial expression is changed. The aura and energy that you carry is changed because that is what spirituality does. But you can, you can be as religious and as rigidly religious as you want. You may not actually change for good, right? There are religious people who, who run around the world and cause problems and bomb buildings and kill people in the name of their religion, and they create suffering in the world. But a, a spiritual person wouldn't do that because a spiritual person realizes that the person, the other person, his neighbor, is also himself. And he's not going to kill him, his neighbor. He's not going to kill himself, right? Because scriptures say you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. Whether or not this neighbor belongs to your religious faith group or belongs to your religious tradition or your religious tribe is immaterial. You have to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right? So spirituality has the power to transform you. It has the power to transform community. It has the power to transform the global community. More importantly, spirituality has the power to transform you and make you an agent of transformation. That's what spirituality does. It is inclusive. It is expansive. But it is also transformative. But religion, on the other hand, uh, tends to be more exclusive and, and tends to be more tribal and uh, at best is more transactional, right? So if you're a part of our church, then we like you. If you're a part of our religious group, we accept you. But if you are not, uh, we don't accept you really, right? And, and so that is the difference. And I, I offer these uh, insights, I share these things with you because the question has been asked, what is the difference between spirituality and what is the difference between religion? So spirituality has a bigger category. It's a bigger category. It includes all of us, all humanity. Every one of us, uh, we have that latent spiritual seed within us that we can nurture. The divine spark, some people have called it. Right? When God created us in his image after his likeness, he put within us that which is himself. And spirituality is about actualizing that. And when you actualize that, you yourself will become more inclusive in your orientation, you become more expansive, and then you become more transformative. Religion doesn't do that for you although it has the ability or the capability to help you to actualize that if it is a good religion. Okay, that's it for now. Please put down your thoughts, your opinions, and your questions in the comment sections below. Until next time, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for me. Thank you so much.